Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Subscribe, it helps me out a lot. You got the stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Let's speak to you. Well, you guys don't own, own this place long? Or yeah, 25 years. Or oh, really? Okay. You're, you're hauling out um, Model A's and all that kind of stuff, you know? So Should have saved that stuff. Yeah, it was. Seeing when they were heading. Didn't you crush it? Was it you guys that crushed out a bunch? A 10 lot. years yeah, ago? Yeah, all that old shit, right? Yeah, 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 that's right. I never yeah. made it down to look. And then they said it was just. Okay, well, let's. Yeah, keep on moving. Keep on keep moving. On. Yeah. I came from the local school here and it's got a posy rear Is end. Is that a f***ing gremlin up there? Yeah. yeah. They welded in the back windows, but you know, it's a school project and it just. It's got, Is it a V8 or a normal? Yeah, uh, they got a. a Chevy uh, V8 in there, yeah. Is it an original V8 pop. Gremlin? If it is, it's worth no. big cash. Uh, you know, I don't know that. Yeah, well, you have to run the bin. Yeah. 304s, we're with Pause the cable. Here, right? well, what about this kind of freaking motor here? I got f***ing containers full of motors. Yeah, this is old kit from the f***ing when the fire took the shop out, right? Oh, really? Well, we got some brand new fire stuff at our house, if you want. Yeah, yeah, there's has yeah. got lots. Yeah. Through the whole property. Yeah. Oh, at tailgate, which station are we your station wagon? Is that, that tailgate? That wagon? Is it a boat? I don't know, but it's a no, no, it's, no. it's North American. It's a yeah. station no, wagon. It's a good no, idea. that's Dodge Ram. Is it? Is it? it looks that's like a what station it says, wagon. but maybe it says Dodge Ram on the back. Toyota. Uh, the yeah. Toyota one. Somebody yeah. want that one. I don't yeah. have a Toyota. Yeah, look, there's no rust on it. There's a. That's oh, a hey, that's a '66 Parisian Fender. Somebody was door. looking for one of them. They were looking. No, they were looking for a door. Hey, you ain't missed that. Like, somebody was online looking for... Hey, 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 hey! Look, Mike, there's new parts for your head! <laughs> <laughs> Misty! Yo. There's your back glass for your... And they're looking for it. Here's your hood over here. Okay, let's It's a hood for a Honda. For the cats and rats and elephants. You sure heard you're born. That sounds like a... And Irish Rovers. Oh, it was back in the day when you were probably not What in the f***? Oh. Ah. Hit your head? Yeah. Wait, did you hit it on? Oh, Ma. Ma, did it hurt right away, little buddy? <laughs> yes. Right away? Yes. Let's see it. Let's it's see all you guys that can't stand the cameraman, he just skewed <laughs> his fat head on that. <laughs> hey, look, hey, hey, look, 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 some wildlife. Where? You see that goat go by? What? There's a goat out there. No, you see that goat? No. no. There's a f***ing goat out here, right no. there. There are two goats. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> hey, your father's here. <laughs> this is Pinto and Wayne. Oh. I see Avery, they all start going, da. Hey, hey, <laughs> Mike. Mike, I think your children are here. <laughs> Mike saved the goat back in the day. Uh, actually, I, we saved the goat at, goat at Summerland, and it got me off an impaired. Oh, you walking down the road, or like what happened? No, I remember when they shut the road down for uh, for two weeks, 2010. Well, the whole hillside started moving. Well, the goat climbed down. Are you my daddy? Shut up. Anyway, the goat climbed. Goat climbed down the. He's track. here. He's here. He's here. Tell the parts on its way. Here, Amy, I'll tell you a story. Anyway, so goat climbed down the crack. And then it shifted again, he got stuck down there. So the highways came and said, Mike, you only saved the goat. I went, look, why don't you guys save the fucking goat? Because I don't want to. So then we ended up wrapping down and sedating the goat and pulling him up. You had to sedate him? Well, yeah, well, well he was a wild goat. Tell the rest story why you had to give that goat mouth to mouth. <laughs> well, we, over, we, we overdosed him. We overdosed the goat. The, 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 you did and the other guy did. My brother, I, I lassoed him, Bill injected him because they gave us too much knockout. Why'd you mouth to mouth him? Well, we brought him up, we thought we'd kill him, so I, I said, we'll give him a couple of breaths, so one of my guys took a picture of me blowing the goat. No way! Oh, yeah, made the, made the Globe and Mail. Uh, that is cool. And then when I got nailed for impaired, we went to, uh, I got nailed coming out of slacks. Oh, so yeah. He has, he has his yeah. name on there, Goat Kisser. Yeah. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. So anyway, we went to, we went to, for, I was going to lose, lose my driver's license. We walked in, and my lawyer says, you better get here. There's some funky going on. We walked in court, and the Crown prosecutor loved the goats. She um, said, he's the guy that saved the goats. And right. they walk oh, in, they say, would amazing. you plead guilty to six points for undue care and attention and a $1,200 fine? I'm going to throw out your impaired. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> anyway, so it was good karma. 
Mm. Yeah. Mountains are There's something you don't okay. see every day. Four forties is on the right, right here. Side of the, at the engine block at the front. Ah, the motor is off. You know what that is? Hey. Huh? Is it a heater? When I was really young, I thought I discovered a jet engine off of an airplane when I was in the junkyard. Much to my dismay, it's a gas heater out of a Volkswagen Beetle. So if you're going to save them, save the ones from the mid to late 60s, early 70s. That's the one you guys want. It's the right date for my car, right? My brother, my God. There is stuff here. What? Hey, look, hey. Everything. Different it's a good start on Volvo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avery. What? Suck on it. Yeah. <laughs> Whip it out, Mike. <laughs> no. Okay, where are we looking now? Uh, we go down that way. We go in the red check. No, the red check. Bumper, okay, with, with this cool this way. Okay. They will come off. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Square intakes. It's the heads were worth a fortune back in the day. Because the plugs are uh, angle plugs. Yeah, angle plugs. See, so square port heads. These heads were worth a fortune. I don't know what they're worth nowadays, but back in the day, they were the most sought after, best high performance stuff in the American. Yeah. But hey, they had electric fan here. It was overheating, so I put this back on. So, what do you would you say about that? Put a shroud around it if it continues. Yeah. yeah. The, the radiator, you can put a bigger well, rod in this, eh? You, never, uh, you put a three core in it, that's something. That's a small radiator in it. You're missing, you're missing six inches. Yeah. But if you put a bigger rod in it, it'll solve the problem. Yeah. Is, is, that that you, is that your, go, is that your girlfriend here. says? Three inches. What's that? This okay. here is overheating it, right? So the rod in here should be a four core about this long. So that'll solve the problem. That rod's too small. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I need a fan cool 403 with electric start. Hey, what? <laughs> What's in there? 403. Is it an electric start? I don't know. Oh, a, it has to be electric start. Right? Yes, there's fucking key. Is it electric start? Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a key, eh? Yeah, I don't see I don't it. see an electric start. <laughs> Pull over. Is it turn over? <laughs> yeah. What's that snowmobile worth? Can't carry What's it. Going it? On? Fifty bucks. Okay, I'll buy that off you. I'll charge you hundred bucks to take it home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and get it later. There you go. Okay. But yeah, I need on one it. of the motors for a conversion. We gotta figure out how we're gonna. Ah, oh, here. It's just like winter, except yeah. colder. Here we go. Don't let my wife see this picture. <laughs> Do not let my wife see this. Hey, Mike. Don't ever tell anybody they weren't really. <laughs> She's heard that one before too. I know. Where's this motorcycle at? What oh, is it's it? over that way, right yeah. into the freaking. Okay, are you going to look at the bike? I'm going to relax for a minute. There's a motorcycle around here somewhere. I'm curious to see what it is. Oh, look, don't say them trees. Them tree doesn't have faces. It's a sauna. It's a sauna. <laughs> yes, I saw one. I recognize that one. Nice. Yellow one. Yeah. Loudest ring on the planet. Yeah. It's got rid of my yellow one. Yeah. Hey, Mike, an alien landing site. They run propane in them. Check out the Oh, look, 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 Mike. Something that's never been used a bathtub. <laughs> right for what they use in the orchard. Yeah, air cabins. Whoop. Oh, and these are like old ones. There's another one. Yeah. Cool. I, I have a, I have a shovel head actually. Oh dear. That's a high horsepower one. My kid drives it. It's a 98 cubic. It's a 98. Who knows what he's got in the middle of it? It makes 90, uh, 93 horse and 110 foot pounds of torque at rear wheel. Dyno. It's a 98. The gear is a 98. 98 cubic engine. Remember when we used to play on those? Oh. Oh. Could get hurt. I have another one that I just did too. I have a 1942 WLA that I put together as a basket case. I remember being. That's all. That was. Yeah. This is Straight on the big three inch crossbar. What exactly is that? That's an Indian. Is that okay? 
Which one? You're looking at the old one. That Indian. That one's got a set of Velcro cases on it. Somebody's put some money into it, eh? Back in the back whatever. in the day. Yeah. Well, them cases are fairly expensive. Delcro, that's what they're made. Got to think about that. They're made in Canada, I think maybe. There's something about them. Ma, you didn't step on Donnie's tow truck when you were in the back seat, did you? That's a fucking no. That's okay. a ratchet top. Ah, oh, Donnie. Ratchet top. Ratchet top. Ratting and top. Ratchet. Ratting and rat. Ratting and top. Yeah. You're talking Roger. mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Transmission. Transmission. Oh, yes. Rhino would know. Yeah, he does. You're asking the wrong guy. He wasn't even a gleam in the old man's eye when this thing was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Summer cool. snowball. <laughs> Summer <laughs> snowball. <laughs> okay, what's next? I don't know. Uh, where's, uh, we're going to your sister's house. <laughs> 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 no, hang on, there's a Dodge van over here. Yeah. I recognize the Volkswagen. Yeah, I saw the, <laughs> the blue bag in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here. Here's a sign Mike needs for his house. Rock the old leaning tower of power. <laughs> Six, three on the tree. Anybody want a bath? Slightly you. Right? Sure. Can cool, man. I know. Good time. Was it A100 or what yep. is it? A100? Yeah. Yep. I forget what year. You know what? This thing's actually in really good shape. You do 100 three speed. Okay, now I can fit on rocks. Yeah. It's got more. Snow White's cherry, but it's not really see, see, What's that? It's more dense than the Snow White's cherry. Dotson 1300. This thing here is fairly uncommon. Like, really uncommon. Isn't it? Paperwork that we talked about. Probably doesn't even have tags. Still got a motor in there. Okay. I'm through winter again here, and my warranty is. Good old three cylinder. Four cylinder. And that thing's wide. Yeah, so we did some work to it. What year is it? Like a 72? 68? It's a farm vehicle, it says on it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's you don't see them. You just don't see them. Well, here's that one that's a rare one that you got. Same as this out in the middle of the field that you sold that moment, wasn't it? Where's Sunny? Hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Come this buddy, come here. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, got, it's got two blower motors for the heater. Holy. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. And they see it, and they say dual, uh, dual control for each side is new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, right. <laughs> hey. She, Individual zone. She's too hot. He's too hot. They can change it. <laughs> yeah. Here. Holy, that's cool. <laughs> Rambler. Through. Look how small the cylinders are in this thing. Holy. Oh. Look at that. Ah, uh, it's a Nash. And the goats messed up the roof. There we go. Nash. The Nash become Rambler. It's like right out of the cartoon. Car. Oh my god, imagine mm -hmm. this slam down. She's a serious. Yeah. Well, look at the back doors. Look how tough the front end of this thing is. Look at this. It's a, what do you want to call it? A mono. There's no frame on this car, Monoc. right? Monoc, mono car. Look, look at this here. Look, look at the front end on it. Look how far ahead of its time it is. Mm -hmm. Tougher than. Right here. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You hit, you can't even bend it. Like this should have been in your hitting paths. <laughs> you take a guy's eye out with the fan extension. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just like you look. Like, it looks like something right. out of that, yeah. out of that movie yeah. with the car. You can build about 50 Hondas out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, like, right? Look at the front end. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah I can see where a guy be a real. Right. Like it just, uh, you just like I said, the first thing I see, I look at that motor, 
Yeah. It was a good core, you know that, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah. The dodge in it. You know, it's a good six, seven core. But that's what I, uh, you keep hanging on to it. Keep hanging on to it. It's like too much freaking. Oh my god, it still turns. Where is that? What is What's that? It? It's a six, seven dodge. It is, yeah. yeah. Look at this. This is the frame for that uh, stupid baker. Frame. Okay. That's a that damn shoe cleaner. <laughs> right? And then you, <laughs> they have the uh, drop over rear ends, tons of them. Is that right? So, the so, nine inch Fords? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I have a couple nodulars I found in the, in the seat cat over there, too. I'll tell you what, it is. If you were the hoarder, you would be after a while, but again, at the end of the day, I, I want to see what it's like to just do the derby in here again. You know, just... You want to know something? At the end of the day, you phone a scrap guy, come in, go on vacation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You just literally, you just literally leave somebody here. Yeah. Your child or somebody. Yeah. That knows that he doesn't want to collect anything. Yeah. And you take your dear woman. Yeah. And you go on vacation somewhere and you come by. And it'll be gone, and you'll go like this. Oh, nice. You just go away. And just let you know it, what I mean? Let it you just let it disappear. You yeah. come back. And the thing about that is, you will not realize what went away and what you're missing. That is Because as soon as the thing gives you go, oh, oh geez, there's that grinder over there. Yeah, yeah. Hold that over there. <laughs> it's so long that when I find it, it's like, oh, my God, there, and that's where it And was, you want right? to know the bad thing about it is, you will never do nothing with it. It becomes a treasure. Yeah. It becomes something of... Uh, it just becomes a treasure in your world. It becomes um, something of monetary in your yeah, mind. Too much. I you, was, know? you know, you can't take it in a motorhome. But I tell you what, leave Junior here, yeah. take your old lady, go on holidays, and give him one order. Phone the crusher, phone the crusher, and say, clean it up. Go out, mark one or two items that you want to keep, maybe two, three, and walk the f away. Yeah. You will come by, and you'll have a clean yard, and you'll go like this. Is that ever nice? Yeah. You know what the first thing Mike said after he sold all of his cars? You know what he said? Why didn't I sell another 50? See? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. That's the first thing he said. He said, why didn't I sell that other 50 that I kept? And he was quite pissed off about it. But it becomes, I don't know how to explain it. It becomes, it becomes part of us. It becomes our, yeah. it's like having a big diamond ring. You know what I mean? This junk means something. You know, it's just, it's weird how it, it's really weird how it affects us all and that's it it's, you just want to keep it hang on to it you're right when it when it's gone it's like, okay it feels better you got ten thousand dollars worth of motors on there that are worth nothing i see you will look at them and you will look at them and you'll look at them for the next 30 years they've been on there for a hundred now the plastic's so brittle it's falling yeah. off of them the, the, the rings are solid you know yeah. you take and put so, a thing out there you take and close the shop doors, you put a thing out there, and you go, uh, like you said, anything you can pack out. If it's a truck load, it's a truck load, it's $100 a truck load. Load whatever you can load. Yeah, 100 bucks, you can carry it. 100 bucks, yeah. You and just take and do that if you want to do it, or you can just, again. Right, get the end dumps in here, the truck in here, just That rolling gear in school. You'll have that for the next 25 years. If you go to use it, you won't find it. You go buy a new piece. It's easier. You get people over there. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta let go. Gotta let go. By the time you pay somebody on that store to take a look after, as I was telling them, what is the first thing that you said, Mike, after when you sold all the cars and you had 50 left over? What's the first thing that you said? <laughs> what else did you cars. say when you looked at the other vehicles you had? Why them? did I keep them? Yeah. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Why did I keep them? Now back up to 100. It's a sickness. Jeez. But again, Once it's all right. You collect back up a bunch more later. There's but more. There's more than you can ever collect. It's not like the. Not like the world's gonna run out of shit. No, it just keep going. As soon as I crush something, you go, oh, I shouldn't have crushed it, but there's ten more. That's right, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, some of the old you stuff you never see again, but you take and go, go on a vacation, go on a cruise, yeah. a leave the kid here to clean it up. Leave the kid here. <laughs> make it yeah. aggravate him before you leave, so make sure he gets rid of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, 
back there's a big check and four acres of land. Don't tell him that you want to keep all this, all this. Well, he won't keep it, he'll throw it away. Don't fill his head to you, right? But again, all this you see, we got the same problem. I go in my shop yeah, and I got to do a shop cleaning. You go in there and you look, there's on the shelf, I've been on there for five, five years and I've never looked at it, but yet it's valuable to me. Yeah, again, well, yeah, I know it's hard. I got a whole end right full of shit. But again, yeah. sooner or later, like I, I woke up one day screaming. I said, Mike, what are you going to do with 600 cars if you drop dead? They'd all get squished. And I wouldn't get any enjoyment out of any of it. So at least if I squish it while I'm alive or I That's sell it, true. I get to spend the money. I mean, no, we have a smash up derby here. That's right. Just imagine bank <laughs> corners. Right? Yep. Yeah. Good. You will clean it up and. By the time you realize it, it'll be that full. Yeah, but again, it don't, it don't take long. But That's again, true. you know what I mean? For somebody, you come, you look around, you go through the back, you look at the stuff in the back, and you start looking at it, and you go, look at all the old good stuff here. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that's for that, that's for that. You know what? Come go let somebody else look for it. Sell it for scrap. You take an excavator, open the top of the things up, you don't even go in there. You just fill them full of scrap and just and just leave. Because the first thing you start going in there, yeah. you know. Oh, this is for 1960. Yeah, yeah. I've been there, man. It's just brutal. Oh. I just seriously, it is one of if you do it, it's one of the hardest things you'll ever do. When it's done, it'll be one of the most satisfying yeah. things yeah. that you've ever done. Yeah. And I tell you what, you'll have, if scrap price is anywhere half where it is, you'll probably have 300,000 pounds. Yeah, $300,000 and I'll have it, I can, if it comes in, I just crushed it. 100 cars, in six months, look what I have again, right? So you have all kinds of scrap right here. Yeah. I tell you what. Stand here. Hey. Stand here. Yeah. American Gothic. You don't have the three pine fork, eh? Yeah, I know. You know what they use it for? Throwing hay. Well, <laughs> no, they don't. They, yes. they do and they don't. Just pose for a second. Just pose and shut the f up. Ow! Ah! I'll tell you what, the poster child for birth control. <laughs> oh, phone number, Rhino. What's your phone number? 250. 485-8828. Okay, that's uh, Oliver Metal Recycling, beautiful downtown Oliver. Get coming. Like I said, you see anything you like, give them a call before it goes to the squisher. Or email. Oliver or email. Okay. Oliver Recycling and Salvage. Come and get the good stuff. Yeah, it okay, gets crushed. E email the whole one. Yeah. ORS LTD at telus.net. There we go. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for the tour.